Hey everybody, it's Mega Gamer Alexil, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we received the Cherry Bomb technique from Bakugami. I figured we should talk about the Brush Gods whenever we get their techniques in the previous episode. Anyway, we also got some missing chests, and even one that I didn't know about. And, yeah, that's about all we did last episode, and, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, in this episode... We are going to be restoring all the Guardian Saplings, or, no, not Guardian Saplings. We are going to be restoring the Weathered Trees in Kamiki Village. There are 15 in total. So, I figured, I mean, I've always wanted to do this, but how about we speed up and play some music? Yeah. That sounds like something I can do. Anyway, let it commence! Alright, that's about all the trees except one, and I know exactly which one I'm missing. Yep. That's always the last one for some reason. Anyway. The music's changed. So that means something really crazy is about to happen. You need to go up here and talk to Mr. Orange. Also, let me know in the comments if you liked how I sped up the video. I'm not very good at it, but let me know if you liked it. I can already tell I'm gonna fail really bad at this, so prepare for some laughs. At last. At last, the answer to all my prayers. All the village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Yes, it is time for the Konohana Shuffle. I shall summon back the spirit of the Divine Tree Konohana. But first, I must break my vow of temperaments. I shall gingerly sin, sip this sake, and soon we shall see blossoms. Bitch, you said gingerly sip. You chugging that thing! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just chugs the bottle. Oh, yes! 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 Hey, uh, Gramps, you okay? You got a really weird look in your eyes. Snowboard! Hey, soon! What you're about to see is the stuff of legends! Behold the secret of secrets I give you, the Kona Hana Shuffle. I think I might need to put my sensor bar in a very suitable location. So wait just a second. Oh no. Okay, at the right timing, you have to bloom these. Normally I do it in one try, but the sense of bar is being really weird and... Now is not the time! See what I mean? I never- I always do it in one try though! The tree was supposed to become a blaze of blossoms. Is the Konohana Shuffle nothing but a sham? No, it cannot be! I won't give up. I shall keep dancing till Konohana blossoms. Once again! The secret of secrets. The Konohana Shuffle. 
Yes, he will keep starting it over until you get it right. It is a pain in the butt. I, sco I scooted back farther, so hopefully I'll be able to do it. Okay, good so far. Oh god, the catcher's lagging behind, like, really hard. Oh boy! This game is gonna be hell. Just saying. Ah, oh, why is my virus protection thing showing up now? Why? Ah! Great, Tamatarasu. Sakia? You're alive and you, um, look very nice. Little bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest thanks. What bravery. Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Thanks to you all, I have been restored and re-energized. Well, of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious god Amaterasu. Praise be to you. Okay, I don't care if your clothes are different, that is still creepy. I cannot guarantee that it will mean salvation for all of Nippon, but if you restore the guardian saplings spread about the land, you too will benefit from the power that results. I will remain a Kamiki, praying for your mission success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Man, what now? This is another one of my favorites, actually, now that I remember. Oh. I don't suck this badly, I promise. Forgetting about that. <laughs> now I remember why he's my favorite. He straight up just hits the freaking screen. Ah, Hamatarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the nature of Kamiki. But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagami trio of Flora Gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance to your grave quest. Holy smokes! That was Hasugami! With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. You can use them to cross any body of water. Let's try it out! Come on, this way, Ami! I've been eyeing that treasure chest for over there for some time. 
Why don't you create some water lily pads? Or <laughs> lily pads. Make them like stepping stones all the way to the uh, isolate. The water lily brush technique creates lily pads on water. All you gotta do is draw circles in the water. Come on, furball. Let me see you work the wonders of that brush of yours. Okay, hopefully not those kinds of wonders. Anyway, what he says is true. We just draw a circle, and boom, lily pad. Done. Check. Hey, hey, wipe that smirk off your face, for a ball. At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. I know. Now that you have this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Remember the waterway leading to the forest that I told you about? You get it. You saw it. Our little Saki is back to her old peppy self, but there are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. I kind of don't like it when the text is slowing really slow. Scrolling. Anyway, now that we have Water Lily, we can get this chest over here, which I too have been eyeing, and it is our second Sun Fragment, I believe. Yeah, so I think I already explained what a Sun Fragment was, but in case you don't know, because believe me, I tend to repeat myself a lot. That's basically your piece of heart. And there's only three, but they're not very easy to come by. Like, I think there's one you can buy in a merchant shop one in one town or something. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, I haven't played this game in forever, so... Yeah, it's my favorite game ever, and yet I barely play it most of the time. Though the only time recently was on the PS3, but... Actually... I get really salty about this in um in a in a past episode. You most likely already saw it, to where I talk about how if they remake it for the Switch, then give you more control options or something. Like it, I'm talking about Fleetfoot, obviously, but around that time, like a few weeks prior to that episode being recorded, they actually announced it um, being ported not to the Switch, but to the PS4. Xbox One, and the PC. I'm okay with PS4 and PC, but Xbox One? Really? Like, don't get me wrong, and I don't mean to offend a lot of people who like Xbox, because I know a lot more people prefer the first-person shooter racing machine, which is what I used to call it. <laughs> but, and my phone just did a thing. Uh, Somebody go live or something? Oh! I don't know if you did hear it in the background, but if you did, then shut up, phone! <laughs> Jeez, that's one joke I really want to bring back. Like, remember in my older episodes? Remember in my older videos? Like, I think it was mainly in Spyro and Zelda. I used to do that. Oh my god, that was... That was a good joke. Anyway... I want to come by the dojo because I think there is another skill aside from the foot that we can get, but... It... Oh, I didn't feed the pigs! Um, you eat seeds, right? Oh my god, they ate seeds. <laughs> okay, I'm obviously not going to show the entire cutscene, but... Unless I'm explaining something that I need to have talked about or something, then I will show the entire scenes of that or something, but... Other than that, just no. Just no. Anyway, do you... Sorry. So hey, come again, my little impudent friend. Have you come to sharpen your skills? We do not have the money. Anyway... Now, remember how I said, um... I think around our first battles where I was explaining Demon Fangs, I said there was a move that we'll get later on that'll make it a lot easier to get Demon Fangs. This way... You don't have to worry about floral finishers, but this is one of the ways you can get more demon fangs, but we do not have 10,000 yen, or 
A hundred thousand, excuse me. I'm not good with numbers. Clearly. And we have spirit form. Increase the attack rate of rosary. Now, this is one thing that we do not have yet, so when we get something like that, I will explain what it is, obviously. But, until then, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna head on. So, we have to make our way to that circle on the map, and it's very close by here. And, you know, I would save it until the next episode, but since it's so close by, and this doesn't take very long, in all honesty, but, yeah. So, over here, there is yet another thing I think I showed off, but we can't get yet. So, now that we have Cherry Bomb, we can actually get this, and I really hate when the- I really hate when it does that. Anyway, we have a Coral Fragment here. Nah, that came from Dragon Palace. You might have to remember that name for later, because, uh, it's kind of important, but... Either way, it's not relevant right now, so... Yeah. Anyway, um, I like jumping off of this, because it makes it more authentic. Anyway, again, now that we have Water Lily, we can create a circle pads. Or, er, Lily, Water Lily, or Lily Pads, that's what I meant to say. So, a good trick is to just dash, jump, and then air dash in the, like, like this, like. You do that, you'll get more distance, and right before you land in the water, normally where your shadow is, you can draw a lily pad, and you'll almost always land on it, but be careful of your ink. So, you could just be like, now, there is one thing you could say where it's like, oh, I don't have to get Cherry Bomb now, I can get it later. Well, Cherry Bomb is a required brush technique. In fact, pretty much all of them are. Now, there are some that are optional, some are required. But, yeah. Anyway, we are now in Agata Forest. And this is one area that my pronunciations change on a lot. Like, one time I call it Agata, Agata, Agate, or something. Like, I, I called it all three of those names in the past. But anyway, um, I have his protection. Ugh. Don't get Bright Force. Don't get Bright Force. It is not good for your laptop. Anyway. Curse zone expanded into the forest. I thought the evil would shun areas of the grass and trees. Must be really some curse. The way it's changed the forest. Now, if you open your map, everything is cursed. Don't touch anything. But, as you can see, there is a little area, and it does show a little cave. But where's the cave? Well, according to Chugga, in Okami, look behind the waterfall. There is a waterfall here. And this is one of the one like there I think there was one time in his Majora's Mask Let's Play he said something like, When an Oak like an Okami, look behind the waterfall. Yeah. Anyway, Cherry Bomb is 100 percent acquired. You will need required. You will need this. Because without it. You can't restore Agatha Forest because there is a tree. I don't know how it could grow so big in a freaking cave, no less, but either way, let's jump to get some elevation and let's bloom it. Beautiful. 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 I never get tired of that. But anyway, 
We're going to go ahead and end this episode off here, and yes, I know there's a treasure chest right there, but it's better to get it in the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Okami, we're going to be seeing what's in this chest, and we are going to explore the newly revived Agata Forest. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!